Hi, welcome to the tutorial about um, Antergo Cinnamon. We are actually working on Linux Mint here, 18.1 Cinnamon. We have uh, hosted in a virtual box this Cinnamon. Installing uh, Antergos is quite easy. You'll see it on my tutorial on ericdupoint.pe. It takes about 12 screens and then you have a completely working Arch-based Antergos system Cinnamon. So now it's up to us to make it even more beautiful. Let's go to the full screen mode and let's see uh, what we can do about our display. I'm going to get to my GitHub Eric Dubois because I have up there some scripts I would like to run, which makes it easy for me to install uh, on Tergos. And as you can see, it, just, it has just been uploaded, so normally you just type on Tergos, and then you see all kind of desktop environments you can use. This one is about Antergos Cinnamon. You click here, you click there. You have now copy pasted a code inside, and you put it something somewhere where you can, like so. I always put it in data. Doesn't matter where you put it. And then you open a terminal here, and Git should be installed. So it's if it's not installed, if you're coming from Debian based, then you would probably say let's sudo apt install. That will not work here. We should change our mind to pacman, package manager, minus s. And then we should say git. We install the git application, like on any other distro. And then you say clone me the one from that position. And if it's too slow, you can always stop it and run it again. So here you have all the scripts now. And there is this folder inside, installation folder, we're going to try out. And as you can see, um, we have here different kind of scripts, a lot of scripts. But there are a few that are basic and that you should run, not all of them. Um, we're on Cinnamon, so we can make it even better. So this is Nemo, preferences, toolbar, click, 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 click. Click, select everything, and the one I want is up here. Open a terminal in this directory. Okay, and then let's go and maybe make it a bit bigger for the tutorial. Custom fonts, 15. And you can start ahead with the 0 10, install fastest on Tergos Mirrors version 1. So when I'm on Tergos, he's going to look for servers that in my position in the world here, Belgium, Europe, are the fastest. And I'm going to save that in a nice little file. Don't believe anything people tell you when they say run a script. Click display, read it. It's not that difficult. It's text so rank the mirrors this one here and write it to there and then in the end copy back to there so okay and show me then whatever you did so this is cat show me and then an update so this is all done and everything is up to date which is just fine you just installed it it's normal but let's say i rerun this thing a week later and of course there will be updates by then Okay, so all these servers have been added, fine. And this is the one from the world. This is the one for Belgium. This is for the Antergos mirrors. And this is for the Arch mirrors. This goes to prove you to you again that Antergos is indeed an Arch-based system. Wrong number here, Control C. 020, install the fastest Arch mirrors which do you want for the world then you take version one you'll get the best one in your neighborhood and for belgium is i just told him to get my country and all the neighbor countries and uh, well that's a selection i've made so it takes some time it's normal it should uh, test all the servers around him and we're in germany I see germany there i see 
a2 medication org and almost there so these were the arch mirrors so then we definitely need to run the 40 why the 40 because packer is such a great tool packer is a program that will help us install the aur software so instead of uh, yahoo uh, and other helpers i use packer and say install me packer i don't know vivaldi and then you say you see this selection here and all the vivaldi everywhere where there is anywhere even in the commentary there's a word vivaldi you'll see it and then you choose which one should i take but that's for later as we'll see so that's why we installed this one 40 quite important that's why i go into it 100 we have uh, 100 so um, dash behind it okay i should get rid of the thousands that's a good idea to do right now it's always interesting to copy paste but this one is not necessary here there we go we're going to install conky clementine we're in the c so it's alphabetically let's open it all i do is what you would do normally if you install a system you type it one by one pseudo pacman minus s archery three bio ba, bio bap or something like that to see the disk space bleach bit to, to clean up but be careful catfish to figure out uh, color codes for instance inside a file clementine music and so on and so on and so on so a lot of software i think i'll need are in there it's alphabetically you can delete whatever you want or add whatever you want by the way sometimes that happens people do not know it I, so i should tell it in the tutorials as well if you see a github somewhere and you say oh i would like to have a copy of this one you can fork a copy of mine so this scripts you can fork these scripts and then put it on your own github and say i don't want transmission i want don't want terminator i want this and this and this extra and then it's um, your github and your way of installation so you can build upon uh, the work of another and change things you want um, so that's nice to know simple screen uh, recorder so we are here so this line is being installed here so almost there VLC, we're here already. And then you get this thing here, core software installed. So we're here. That's how it goes. That's what we're doing. And um, I'm wondering if we should install the printers. Let's take a look. Maybe we can delete it. If you install like uh, i3, which I do on, on Tergos, then you have to tell them install the printers. But on Antergos itself, we can probably just install. Uh, everything is already installed, as you can see. Network printers. The question is, will you find mine? That's always a bit tricky. Finding uh, a printer that works, works on wireless, that works on iPod, that works on iPhone, on Mac, and all that. And also Linux and on Windows. That's its uh, a challenge. But I have here this um, Canon. I have uh, this little program. I'm going to install the Canon printer for me. So you can skip this one, of course, if you don't have it. Once I've done that, I can go back to our printer settings or print settings or manage printing. I'm not, not sure one of those. And then let's ret retry it. So my configuration files have been installed and you should find the line. Maybe a reboot is necessary, that's possible. So uh, my guess is anyway, that you won't be seeing it anymore. So that's gone. Sound is probably good as well. Um, that's not an issue with installation like this. Everything is already installed, so the ALSA drivers and all that is not necessary to install here. Network, I'm on the net, so no, network is not necessary already in aura. 
So next up is 200. Install extra software version one. What's this doing? Let's open it up. All it gives is, is it does is point to a shell, so a, sh a script, a shell script, and say run it. But most of them, I don't run them. So I minimize the installation. I just want NeoFetch, I want Spotify music, I want text, sublime text, coding. I want to fix all my wrong icons. So the hard code fixer is a way to fix um, icons that never change. You know, so you change to Numix, this is it, for example, this here is a hard code fixer. So four icons are wrong. Whatever I do, Numix, Circle, uh, papyrus, paper icons, whatever I do, they always stay the same. So that's a, a wrong. Uh, the, the programmer, the engineer has written a wrong kind of code inside of the desktop file, which is user share applications, and this script just fixes it. So that's great. That's done. 200. 300. This is all the themes, the icons, the cursors, the conkey. The text says it all. It's going to install some fonts that we need for conkeys and all that. It gives us some icons from a hard disk, from a, a little flame, stuff like that. To embellish your system. We're going to get the conkey, Aureola. Conkeys are a way to figure out how fast your CPU is, CPU is working, how cluttered your RAM is, how much RAM you use, um, things like that. What's this? These are the Sardi icons. So this was Sardi Extra. So there is the core icons. Those are the Sardi icons. And with scripts, you can change them to the Sardi Extra icons, change the colors and all that. Sometimes source 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 forge always difficult to say has some difficulties so the different kind of um, service is going to is resolving it and at some point in time it gets there and then you control C it and you have to try it again you can do it separately of course because now it's going to get everything again and as you can see it's quite slow so again this is the bottleneck now GitHub is the bottleneck. This is the normal speed of GitHub. Another GitHub download, normal speed. Now let's hope that Source Forge is quick. And it is quick. So the Sadi icons have been installed. Another GitHub surfing icons. The Arc GTK theme. The cursor, a white kind of cursor and as it gets now we can actually already pimp our system but let's quickly take another look at 400 let's do these first and then customize our system so some of the things I wanted to install but I conflict again with something else so it's a choice you have to take so I'm gonna install the not of fonts Nemo is already installed so it will not be installed This seems to be double. And these all can be deleted because these things are for i3. So what do we keep? Are we keeping something? Um, let's have a look at appearance. Why is appearance not in there? Let's go to preferences. Themes. Settings, themes, and fonts. Sans, 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 sans. No, not good. We don't want sans. Linux Mint Cinnamon is built on Noto. So we're definitely gonna need Noto. That's how I analyzed it. So Noto is obligatory. We're gonna need this one. Nemo, Nemo is installed in Cinnamon. 
no problem there. We don't need these ones. These are all things for i3. Except Compton, we can use that one. Compton makes transparency possible. Always nice to know. And all this is i3. Good to have icons and possibilities. Ah. Let's keep this one. Well, why not? Delete. And this line as well. Save. So this is what we do need. So a lot of fonts have been installed. Volume icon. Did I forget to delete something? Yep. Don't need this one. Now you see me removing things. Pseudo icon minus R volume icon and it's gone again. No problem. Samba, if only necessary, if you want to share a folder on your computer with a folder with somebody else's computer, let's say it like that. So that's um, interesting. Install personal settings folder, display, I'm not gonna do the Samba, not necessary. These are all um, folders. If they do not exist, they will be created. There are things I want to move from the GitHub to my system, all my personal settings. So if the folders do not exist, I cannot copy to it. That's why there is this 600. 680 is for i3. Firefox for dark themes is as necessary. So 700, why, why that? Um, well, it sometimes happens and particularly when you use dark themes, then you can't read input boxes on Firefox or on Google Chrome. And, and this specifically fixes the one on Firefox since I'm using always that one. And that's what it does. It's going to copy paste a CSS file there. And now the problem is solved. And we're at the end of our numbers and all the rest is up to you if you decide it or not. We're now going to pimp it and maybe I should make an, uh, the cut the, the movie here in two so next up is customize it.